Hi, this is Steven, the Pet Man, bringing you the truth in pet food. So today I'm going to talk about a new review on the Bench and Field Holistic Natural Feline Formula. This is a chicken meal based formula. I picked it up at Trader Joe's, which is one of my favorite stores to shop in. Uh, they have a lot of good stuff. They have some stuff that I don't care for. I'm hoping that this particular cat food is one that I do like. So it's made in the USA and I like that. Hopefully some of the stuff is sourced in the USA. For example, like their chicken meal, which is the first ingredient. The, what that's supposed to be is clean flesh and meat. And the great thing about chicken meal is it, if it's good quality, it can actually be up to 300% more protein than plain chicken. So that's good stuff to start off with. The ground brown rice that comes next, I'm sort of mixed as a cat food ingredient. It is a complex carb. It's got a lot of calories, so it's going to give some energy action to your cat. Um, but as the second ingredient, it's a little bit of a cost-cutting move. Let's go on to the third one, which is chicken fat. And what that is is just the fat that comes off of the rendered chicken and rises to the top, and they kind of scoop it off and they add it. Uh, this is not a problem because it, it does add some nutritional benefit to your cat. Uh, as a fourth ingredient, we're getting to oatmeal. You know, I'm just kind of wondering why they're adding another carb here. Again, it's a little bit of a cost-cutting move. Uh, there is minimal nutritional value for cats. Uh, aside from there is vitamin B and it is gluten-free. So it does have some things to it. I'm just not crazy about it being so high up in the ingredient list. Uh, the fifth and sixth are both anchovy and sardine meal. What I like about this is they're actually specifying what type of fish it is. They're not just saying fish meal, they're actually saying it's anchovy meal and sardine meal. Uh, both of these are, are fine for cats, so these are good ingredients to have in there. Flaxseed, it comes up next. And it's interesting because they don't say ground flaxseed, which is what I like to see. Flaxseeds, if you just add them, they go right through the they're basically the digestive tract with really minimal absorption, if any. So I kind of feel like they could have taken it a step far, further and used flaxseed that worked for the cat system. Um, next is uh, Manhattan fish oil. Again, that's fine. We're adding fatty acids. We're adding vitamin E. All good. And we're adding it not through just putting in vitamin E. We're adding it through an actual source of food. Uh, the rest of the stuff is, is, now we're getting so far down the ingredient list that it doesn't make much difference, but they do have tomato, alfalfa meal, uh, dried beet pulp, apples, all of these are okay, but again, it's so far down the ingredient list that I really don't want to cover much of it. What I, what I do want to say about this particular cat food is overall I do like this food. I like it as much as I'm going to like any kibble or dry formulation. I think Overall, the fact that it's made in the USA and it has reasonable quality ingredients and there are preservatives are all, all natural, I'm going to basically say it's a keeper and I would use this uh, with my cat if I had a cat. I would like to blend in other foods as well, of course, because I'm a big fan of, of uh, switching your companion animals' foods on a regular basis so that they actually are on a ro what's called a rotation diet. But let's go ahead and open it up and take a look and see what this stuff looks like. And they got a nice like uh, zippered top so it's easy to close. So again, this is um, a dry, uh, heavily processed cereal, uh, it's crunchy, but you can still break it with your hands, so it, um, it's, it's a little thinner, obviously, for cats to be able to chew it. Not much of an odor, smells like a typical kind of cat food, and um, seems like a good product to me overall. If you're going with a dry food for your cat, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and say that this is a keeper. I'm Steven, the pet man, and I thank you for watching this review.